this is going to be pretty easy to play. There's going to be 10 rounds, 10 questions in each round, and you'll have about 10 seconds to guess each one before we move on to the next one. At the end of each round, we'll make sure to score the round, and then we'll move on. So you will need a bit of paper and a pen to better write down your scores. Now, make sure you share this with your friends, your teammates. Once you've had a go at the quiz, then make sure you tell them what you managed to score, and they can have a go and see if they can do better than you. All right, the very first question, who is this underneath the face emoji? Who is this player taking a penalty in the red shirt? Who is this player in the white shirt controlling the ball? Which player is this celebrating in the white and blue shirt? Which player is this striking a free kick? Which player is this being held aloft by his teammates? Which player is this in the yellow shirt celebrating? Which player is this in the orange shirt? Which player is this in the yellow shirt and blue shorts? Last one for this round. Which player is this in the white and blue shirt celebrating? All right, guys, I said it'd be quick, so we're going to go straight into the answers for this round. Let me know how you get on once we've marked them. The first player celebrating was the one and only Pelé. The second player taking the free kick was David Beckham. The player controlling the ball was Zinedine Zidane. And it was Diego Maradona celebrating. Cristiano Ronaldo was taking the free kick. Bobby Moore was being held aloft by his England teammates. And the original Ronaldo was celebrating the goal against Germany. This one in the orange shirt, Johan Cruyff. Zlatan Ibrahimovic was in the yellow shirt. And the last one, Lionel Messi, he was celebrating the goal. So guys, any of you get 10 out of 10, let me know in the comments. We're going to move straight on to round two. All right, for this round, we've messed around with some club logos. Can you still recognize them, even though we've taken out some of the colors and some of the text? Let's have a look. This is the first one. All right, here is the second one. And the third badge. Not much on this one, this is the fourth badge. This one a bit easier, the fifth badge. The sixth badge is here in yellow and black. All right, what about this one, the seventh badge? This is the eighth badge. What about this green and white badge? Can you get this one? And the last one in this round, can you guess this badge?
All right, guys, you feeling confident? I'm going to get into the answers straight away. And the very first badge we saw was Manchester United. The second badge was the German team, Bayern Munich. Third badge was Real Madrid. The fourth badge, do you get this one? Chelsea. Did everybody get this one perhaps? It was Liverpool. Borussia Dortmund were in the yellow and black. The next one was Manchester City. Paris Saint-Germain had the Eiffel Tower on their badge. You got Celtic Football Club. And the last one was AS Roma. So how'd you guys go? Did you get 10 out of 10? Let me know in the comments and we're gonna move on to the next round. Here we go. All right guys, so in this round, we are looking at players when they were younger. Most of the pictures are from when players were kids, but I couldn't resist putting this one up. It is Ivan Rakitic when he was younger. So that gives you an idea of how it works. This is the first one. Can you work out who this is? All right, our second player to guess is here as a young man. All right, getting a little bit harder. Who is this? All right, I expect you might get this one. Who is this player? All right, how about this one? All right, I love this picture. Can you work out who this player is? For this one, I'm looking for who the red-shirted player is on the ball. All right, another one for you. Who is this player circled in this picture? Next question, who is this young man? Another one for you. Who do you think this is blowing out the candles on their birthday cake? All right, guys, they got a little bit harder as we went through the round. Did you get 10 out of 10 in that round? Well, let me know in the comments, but we are going to go and see actually how you did get on. Let's run through who the players are in all of these pictures. So the very first player that we saw as a young man was Cristiano Ronaldo. The next player we saw, Lionel Messi. Then we had Luis Suarez. Neymar was the fourth player we saw. Perhaps a little bit of a tricky one, wearing a Germany shirt, but actually plays for Poland, Robert Lewandowski. I don't think that Sergio Ramos has changed at all, apart from the beard. This is just fantastic. This next one in the red shirt was Sergio Aguero. And seen here wearing an Arsenal kit, it is in fact Harry Kane. This player is Antoine Griezmann. And the last player in this round was Diego Costa. So guys, that's three rounds done. Make sure you let me know how you're getting on. Also, if you want to share this video with friends, then you can um, have them watch it later. Or if you've only just joined us, then you can go back and watch the earlier rounds later. Just stay with us now and see how you get on till the end and then catch up on the earlier rounds when you can. All right, guys, so on to the stadium round. And in this round, I'm going to be generous. You can either get the name of the club that plays there or the name of the stadium, whichever you choose. There's no bonus points for both, but go for it. See if you do know. Here's the first one. Here's number two. Could be a tricky one, number three. Do you recognize this one?
Here is number five. Do you recognise this one with the red seats? Any ideas on this great looking stadium? Can you guess number eight? Do you recognise this one? And here's our last stadium, can you get this one? Alright, so let's go through the answers. The very first stadium we saw was home to Barcelona, it is the Nou Camp. The second stadium you saw, home to the English national football team, Wembley Stadium. The third stadium is home to two teams, AC Milan and Inter Milan, it is the San Siro. The fourth stadium you saw, home to Manchester United, Old Trafford. The fifth stadium, Signa in Dunder Park, home of Borussia Dortmund. Home to Liverpool, Anfield. The next one, home to Real Madrid, is the Santiago Bernabeu. The next one was the Allianz Arena, home of Juventus. Then we've got the Amsterdam Arena, home of Ajax Amsterdam, the Johan Cruyff Arena. And the last one, the newest ones we've seen, is the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So guys, how'd you get on in that round? Let me know in the comments. All right, so we're on to the World Cup round now. Things are getting a bit more serious. These are just straight out questions. Which team with five wins are the most successful team at the World Cup? Where was the first ever World Cup held? Who was the top scorer at the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia? In 2026, Canada and the USA will co-host the World Cup with which country? Which team came third at the 2018 World Cup? Which team won the 1998 World Cup? In the last minute of extra time in his country's hard-fought quarter-final match against Ghana, which player was sent off after he used his hands to keep out a goal-bound header? Who were the only team to go undefeated at the 2010 World Cup? Which player was sent off in the 1998 quarter-final between England and Argentina? Germany and Brazil played in the semi-finals of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. What was the score? Alright guys, we're going to get straight into the answers. Remember, if you have only just joined us, you can always go back to the start and watch the earlier rounds later on. But we are going to get into the answers for this round right now. And the first question was, which team with five wins are the most successful team at the World Cup? The answer, Brazil. The second question, where was the first ever World Cup held? The answer was, Uruguay. Who was the top scorer at the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia? The answer, England's Harry Kane. In 2026, the World Cup will be hosted by Canada, USA and Mexico. Which team came third at the 2018 World Cup? The answer was Belgium. And who won the 1998 World Cup? The answer, France. In the last minute of extra time in his country's hard-fought 2010 quarter-final match against Ghana, it was Luis Suarez who kept out a goal-bound header with his hands. Who were the only team to go undefeated in the 2010 World Cup? The answer, New Zealand. 
Which player was sent off in the 1998 quarterfinal between England and Argentina? The answer, David Beckham. And the last question, Germany and Brazil played each other in the 2014 FIFA World Cup semi-finals. The score was Germany 7, Brazil 1. All right, on to the next round. All right, this is an interesting one for you. So we've gone ahead and hidden the sponsors on these iconic football kits. All I want you to do is tell me who the sponsors on the shirt were. The first one you can start off with, have a look at these red kits and tell me who the club sponsor was. All right, another one for you here. Who sponsors these shirts? Who are the sponsors across this kit? The fourth one is this one. Who are the sponsors on this white kit? So for this one, I want to know the sponsor on the black and blue striped shirt, please. Who are the sponsors of this black and white kit? Who sponsored this kit? Who were the sponsors on this purple football kit? Things got a little trickier for the last one perhaps. Who were the sponsors on this football kit? Alright, straight into the answers and first off you've got the iconic Manchester United kit from 1999 sponsored by Sharp. The next kit, we're looking at the Invincibles of Arsenal and they have the O2 sponsor. John Barnes, wearing a Liverpool kit, had the Candy sponsor. Then you got Ronaldinho and Lionel Messi at Barcelona and that kit was sponsored by UNICEF. Gary Lineker and Paul Gascoigne at Wembley, I think, and they were sponsored by Holston in the Spurs kit. It is the Inter Milan kit on the left and that was sponsored by Pirelli. The black and white shirts were of Newcastle United, Les Ferdinand, Alan Shearer and Newcastle Brown Ale was the sponsor. See Robbie Fowler wearing this Liverpool away kit which was sponsored by Carlsberg. Gabriel Batistuta is wearing the Fiorentina kit and that was sponsored by Nintendo. And the last kit you see is the Real Madrid kit and that had the Tekka sponsor. Alright guys, on to the next round. Alright, so in this round we are looking at the English Premier League and my first question is, in what year did the English Premier League start? Was it 1991, 1992, 1993 or 1994? Who were the first champions of the Premier League? Six teams have played in every Premier League season. They are Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur and which other team? What shirt number did Eric Cantona wear for Manchester United in the 1990s? Manchester United, Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea and Manchester City have all won the Premier League. Which other team has won the competition? Kevin Phillips won the Golden Boot in the Premier League in the 1999-2000 season, playing for which club? How many teams were there in the first season of the Premier League? Which player has scored the most goals in the Premier League ever? In what season did Arsenal's Invincibles go the whole season unbeaten? Which 
player has made the most Premier League appearances? Alright, so let's run through the answers and to start off, in what year was the Premier League started? It was 1992. And which team were the first champions of the Premier League? Well, in that 1992-1993 season, it was Manchester United. Now, the six teams that have played in every Premier League season are Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur and Everton. The shirt number worn by Eric Cantona at Manchester United in the 1990s was number... Seven. Manchester United, Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea and Manchester City have all won the Premier League. The other team to do so, Blackburn Rovers. When Kevin Phillips won the Golden Boot in 1999-2000, he was playing for Sunderland. And how many teams were in the very first Premier League? The answer, 22. Which player who scored the most goals in the Premier League history is... Alan Shearer for Blackburn Rovers and Newcastle United. In what season did Arsenal's Invincibles complete the whole season unbeaten? The answer, 2003-2004. And finally, which player has made the most Premier League appearances? The answer to that one, Gareth Barry. Alright guys, this round is all about the European Cup and UEFA Champions League. Your first question, in 2005, Liverpool staged a spectacular comeback to beat AC Milan on penalties in the Champions League final. Where was that match played? In which city? Now, one team won the first five European Cup finals from 1955. Who were they? Which player has scored the most goals in UEFA Champions League history? Which team did Liverpool play in the 2019 Champions League final? In the 1999 final, Manchester United scored two injury time goals to beat Bayern Munich 2-1. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer scored one of the goals. Who scored the other? Who managed Nottingham Forest to their 1979 European Cup final victory over Malmo? Which player was the first to reach the Champions League quarter finals with four different teams? And I'll give you a hint. Those teams were Kaiserslautern, Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern Munich and Chelsea. Who was the first player to win the Champions League with three different clubs? Has Zlatan Ibrahimovic won the Champions League? And the last question, which player scored an outrageous volley against Bayer Leverkusen in the 2002 final? Alright, straight into the answers again. And in 2005, Liverpool had that comeback. They ended up going to penalties against AC Milan. And the game itself was played in Istanbul, Turkey. Which team won the first five European Cups? The answer, Real Madrid. Which player has scored the most goals in UEFA Champions League history? Cristiano Ronaldo. Who did Liverpool play in the 2019 Champions League final? The answer? Tottenham Hotspur. And in 1999, Manchester United scored two injury time goals in their final to win against Bayern Munich. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer scored one of them and the other was Teddy Sheringham. Who managed Nottingham Forest to their 1979 European Cup final victory over Malmo? The answer, Brian Clough. And which player was the first to reach the Champions League quarterfinals with four different teams, who were Kaiser Sauten, Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern Munich and Chelsea? The answer, Michael Ballack. The first player to win the Champions League with three different clubs was Clarence Sadoff. He played for Ajax, Real Madrid and AC Milan. And the question, has Zlatan Ibrahimovic won the Champions League? Well, he's won a lot of league titles, but he's never won the Champions League. And the last question was, which player scored an outrageous volley against Bayer Leverkusen in the 2002 final? The answer, Zinedine Zidane. 
All right, guys, moving on to women's football. We've got one more round after this one. So let's see how you go. We're first wanting to know which country hosted the 2019 Women's World Cup. Next question, which player won the FIFA Women's Best Player Award in 2019? Can you name this player? Who is this footballer? Can you name this football team? Which player is the all-time leading scorer at the Women's World Cup? The USA won the Women's World Cup in 2019, but who did they beat in the final? Who is this footballer? What was the first Women's World Cup named after? Was it M&M's, Coca-Cola, Pepsi or Skittles? USA, Germany and Japan and what other team have won the Women's World Cup? Right guys, before I give you the answers in that one, just to let you know, if you have joined us late, then make sure you go back to the start and watch the earlier rounds and you can add up your score later. If you've enjoyed this quiz, make sure you like it, make sure you share it with your friends, get them to have a go and see how they get on. That way we might well make another video in the future if you do like it. So yeah, please show us some appreciation, make sure you like it and share it with your friends, get them to see what scores they can get. Let's carry on working out your score and we're going to talk about the first question, which was, which country hosted the 2019 Women's World Cup final? And the answer was... France. Which player won the FIFA Women's Best Player Award in 2019? The answer, Megan Rapinoe. The player in this picture was Alex Morgan. And this footballer is Tony Duggan. The women's team in this picture is the Orlando Pride. The player that is the leading scorer at the Women's World Cup is Marta. The USA won the Women's World Cup in 2019 and they beat the Netherlands in the final. This footballer is Arda Hegerberg. The Women's World Cup was named after M&M's. In fact, it was the first FIFA World Championship for women's football for the M&M's Cup. USA, Germany, Japan and Norway have won the Women's World Cup. So we've got the last round coming up. Let's see how you go. Then we're going to work out how many points you got out of our total of 100. All right, the last round, all about the English FA Cup. First question, which team won the FA Cup in 2019? Which team has won the most FA Cups with 13? Two thousand and six was the first time that we saw a penalty shootout in the FA Cup final. Liverpool drew three all, then one on penalties. But who were their opponents? In the nineteen ninety nine FA Cup semi final replay, Ryan Giggs scored a famous extra time winner against Arsenal. But where was the game played? Which stadium? Only one non-English team has ever won the FA Cup. Who were they? The fastest goal scored in an FA Cup final was timed at 27.9 seconds into the match. Who scored it? When was the last FA Cup final replay played? Was it 1992, 1993, 1994 or 1995? Paul Gascoigne scored a legendary free kick against Arsenal in the 1991 FA Cup semi-final, but he only lasted 17 minutes of the final. 
He's still got his hands on the trophy though, as his Tottenham side beat who at Wembley to claim it. Dave Besson saved a penalty to help his side to a memorable FA Cup final win over Liverpool in 1988. Which team was he playing for? In what year was the first FA Cup final played at Wembley? Alright, time to get into the answers of this very last final round. Could you get 100? I reckon anybody who gets over 90 has done particularly well in this quiz. Let's see how you get on. Let's see. So, which team won the 2019 FA Cup final? The answer was Manchester City. Which team has won the most FA Cups with 13? The answer? Arsenal. 2006 was the first time that we saw an FA Cup final go to penalties. Liverpool drew 3 all with... West Ham United. That 1999 FA Cup semi-final replay where Ryan Giggs scored that goal against Arsenal was played at Villa Park in Birmingham. The only non-English team to ever have won the FA Cup are Cardiff City. The fastest goal scored in the FA Cup final was scored by Louis Saha for Everton in the 2009 final against Chelsea. In what year was the last FA Cup final replay played? The answer? 1993, when Arsenal beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-1 in the replay of the final. Paul Gascoigne won the FA Cup playing against Nottingham Forest in the final. Dave Besson saved his penalty playing for Wimbledon when they won the FA Cup in 1988. And our very last answer. Guys, let's see, maybe some of you are holding on to this one to get 100. Please make sure you like this video, share it. And let me know how you get on in the comments. I want to know your team name. I want to know what your score is. So let me know the answer to the very last question is... Thank you very much for watching, by the way. The answer is... 1923. Bottom Wanderers 2, West Ham United 0. Guys, please make sure you like this video. Share it with your friends. Challenge them. See if they can get as good a score as you did. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another one.